So stupid boy Gavin Williamson is now Sir Stupid Boy, as the idiot responsible for screwing up kids' exam results with his dodgy algorithm, kicking them when they were down even further by screwing up school closures, exacerbating an already incompetent pandemic response, not least of which sending them all back to school for one day before closing them again, single-handedly contributing to a spike of infections, and also failed to provide kids with adequate numbers of laptops for distance learning. He was sacked by Theresa May for leaking information from her Defence Security Council meeting and famously told Vladimir Putin to shut up and go away after the Salisbury poisonings, putting on his most serious face while simultaneously sounding about as hard as a penguin has just trodden on one of its own nuts. Now, if Liz Truss's stupidity of late hasn't had the Russians rolling around with laughter, certainly giving them the excuse to escalate tensions, this news is guaranteed to have them wetting themselves. It's a good job knighthoods aren't linked to GDP, or we might very well go bankrupt. But as things are, the moral bankruptcy and the devaluing of what is supposed to be an honour goes on. This man has screwed up everything he's ever been involved in. He has contributed exactly zero to the benefit of this country and has now been given a pat on the back for services to keeping the skeletons firmly in the closet given all the dirty, sordid things he has come to know while serving as the Tory chief whip. It is the Tory way, after all. Fail, get sacked, be publicly ridiculed, and then get a promotion, or in this case, a reward. In no other world does this happen. Let's come back to that defence security leak, because he'll also be joining the Privy Council, which comes with intelligence clearance. Again, the Russians will be delighted. He's already had £30,000 of their money. How, much ru how many rubles will you be worth to them now, Gavin? His political career is a litany of failure upon failure, but he gets elevated to this privileged position, given a track record of being a security risk, as well as a recipient of Russian money. And really, you have to wonder just what does he know about the other Tories, that this has all come to pass. I wonder if any current Knights of the Realm will be handing theirs back now that the honour has been rendered all but worthless.